Now I think that this game is pretty long at this point. I was looking at gameplay on YouTube yesterday, and I've seen somebody going up to day 21 in this game. So this game's going to be long. I'm not sure if this game has a straight end to it. I think it's just an open world game where you just go and explore, just like how um, how Vigor is, where you just keep exploring and you keep building up your base. I'm not sure if this game has an end or not, just like with um, Vigor. I want to know if Vigor actually has an ending. I don't know if it does, and I, don't, I wouldn't expect it to be. But um, but I know this game has a storyline, so I don't know. Maybe I will... Um, she out in into this, but I'm not sure if there is one, but we'll see because I am level four right now and I've been ranking up ever since I've been playing this. But well, welcome back again to another episode of Chernobyl. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. Every time I spam an episode, it just blows up in the likes and the views as well. And if y'all liking it, please support the channel by liking and subscribing. Uh, stay tuned um, the beginning of next week because I will be showing y'all some Dying Light 2 gameplay. I said not Dying Light 2 game. Well, yeah, actually on Friday. But I will be showing y'all the first Dying Light gameplay, just some open world gameplay. I may show y'all some DLC in that. I don't know. It just depends. But for now, I'm just going to show y'all some open world gameplay in that. If y'all want to see that next week before the second game drops. But enough talking. Let's jump into this. Here we go. Let's do this. So I wanted to go to um, the next main mission, which is Red Force. I think it's the only one we haven't been to yet. I think I did this before, but we did a full base already. So dang, that's all we to where that um the electrical wires are, because we've been to every other area I think in the map so far. Um, so let's go to the let's go to the red forest. Um, I don't know what that was. What the heck was that? Jeez, and I need to heal. actually. Cause God dang, I need to heal y'all. Let me see. Um, wait, I need to go back actually, cause I need to heal. I need to create some stuff real quick for my psyche. All right, let me do that. Okay, we definitely need to create some more anti-radiant ointment. Let's go and craft those. So I can heal myself. Alright, anything else? Alright, let's create another one. Alright, we're good. Now, since we did that, I can be able to heal myself. Let's see what's that. Alright, eat one of those. Is it working? It won't let me... Okay, that's just weird. Maybe I have to get on the battlefield to do that first. But it's all good. Wait, what's this? The heist um, is a planning outline of every step necessary to get inside the power plant and rescue Tatiana. Uh, this is the final goal. I need to fully prepare to have a ch uh, chance of success. Our right, team members gather. So I have to gather team members to do that. How do I? Oh, so I'm been. Okay, so. Someone needs to watch our backs. A sniper. Okay. Uh, I can infiltrate the power plant by pretending to be a prisoner. I just need someone to pretend to be an a NAR soldier. So I have to go search for these dudes in order to do that. So that's how you end the game. You have to um you have to save Tatiana. So I'm gonna have to figure that out, yo. Okay, that makes sense. Alright, so since we're doing that, let me Alright, let's let's head out to the Red Forest because I need to figure this out first. Alright, here we go. And then Yes, let's go. And we're officially here. The Red Forest afternoon. I feel like we've been here though. But anyway, it's all good. Oh, freak! What in the world? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Jeez! Oh, God. I'm out of ammo for that. Not good. Switch to this pistol. Oh, oh, Jesus. I'm about to die, y'all. Not good. I have no bullets for this. Freak off me. First time shooting a uh, Chernobyl ghost. This dude. Oh my god. Oh my god, my aim's off. I gotta reload, I gotta reload. I'm gonna have to heal in a minute. Are you kidding me? Well, I guess that's the first time done in this game. Oh wow, I'm reviving. I guess not. This dude. Jesus. You have enriched the journal and your inventory would automatically dispense to avoid death or capture. This also significantly accelerates your movement for a few moments. You can use it to fight. Jeez, man. That's the first time. Alright, so I experienced death for the first time, y'all. Almost. But it was close. I thought I was never going to have that moment when I was going to shoot a, uh, a Chernobyl ghost. But I did this time, so it's a good thing. Alright, so they got items up here. Let's go and search for that. Oh, look at that. Jeez, man. I 
need to um, definitely gonna have to heal so I can get that anti-radiation off me. It's like it's always something, man. Speaking of that, let me see if I can heal myself with this. It, yeah, it won't let me accept it. Okay, that's just weird. But I can have health potions, though. What about that? Nothing. That's just stupid. Okay, and the car has engines. So let me see if I can get that real quick. Ooh, take that. Let's see what's in this house. Oh, look at that. Vagabond, what's up? Another respectable customer. Want to make the dealer your life? You're not afraid of trading here? Ah, I know what I'm doing, my good sir. I've been trading since the fall of the Soviet Union. And besides, no risk, no gain. Sounds like you've traveled a lot. Ah, the Grand Bazaar in Tehran, Jarmak, Europa in Warsaw, Taksim in Istanbul. I've been places, my friend. Oh, the things I've seen. I'll bet you have. I have to ask, how does desolate Pripyat compare to these colorful places? Hey, where there's demand, I provide supply. I'm the invisible hand of the free market. I've got Putin, Trump and Gates on my speed dial. Is that right? What about Steve Jobs? What? Yeah, him too. Of course. Anyway, money makes the world go round. But bartering is also good. You want to trade? Chat exchange for food for gear exchange gear for food. Uh, let's just change gear for food. Yeah, cause I need more of that. No, let's let's see what that is. All right, show me what you've got. What does he got Mr. for me? Mr. Invisible Hand. Okay, so food ration, a ceramic plate, metal plate. Let's go trade that. Well, the thing is, I'm gonna need that to increase my. Uh, Alright, let's back up. I think I've done enough trading for now. All right, we're good. Let's get that guy here. Good luck building your fortune, Mr. Invisible Hand. Ah, <laughs> thanks. But I'll make my own luck. I appreciate that, Vagabond. All right. We're good now. Let's see what's in here. Ooh, what is this? Clue? Mm, this Kozlov guy seems to be important. Perhaps I should meet with him and ask about Tatiana. All right, you're hereby given full authority. Actually, let me just read that. You're hereby given a full authority to assist Professor Seminar in containing the crisis. Use whatever means necessary, including lethal force. All considerations are secondary. All right. Well, food ration. I'll take that. Can I go through here? Nothing. So he's just chilling there. That's kind of funny. Ooh, a, a backpack? Revolver ammo. So we, I feel like we've been here before. I think we have um, in the last couple videos, y'all. So I think it was like in part eight or seven or something like that. So we've been in this area before. Now, I do not know how to get this rashes off stuff. So, um, oh, snap. They got enemies. Yeah, I do not have the Oh, freak. I got to get down. I got to run across the, um, the street so they don't see me. Let me go around the other way. Uh oh, radiation, radiation. All right, let's go, let's go. Definitely need to be careful with that. All right. Now, I do have an anti um, Chernobylite bomb. I don't think it's in my inventory, though. I'm probably going to have to check my book bag in a minute. Probably have to, at the base because I don't have that there. All right, so I guess I'm getting close to the objective. And it almost feels like sometimes certain parts are born, and what do you know? They have a flare over there, so I think that's where we need to go. Yep, I think that's it. So hopefully these parts are not born, y'all. I'm just trying to make the best of it. Just trying to figure out what to, what to do specifically. So if it feels like it's born, I'm sorry. This game is new to me. Oh my god, the freaking radiation, man. Come on. Is this it? Oh, that was it. At least we got medicine. Oh, yeah, we gotta be careful. Watch out for those dang radiation spots. Ooh, what's in there? Every time you walk in a quarantine zone, it just drops your health like that. I gotta be careful. Definitely gotta be careful. Ooh. 
I can't take the radiation medicine. There we go. I'm gonna take that. Okay, there we go. It cleaned it up. I couldn't take it at first. It would not let me at all. Ooh, okay. We got some stuff over here then. Oh my god, it's going back up, y'all. I was affected by that thing. Take as much mushrooms as needed. Hmm. I could use that anti-burner, but um, I'm not sure. If, let me see. Do I have it in my inventory? And no, I do not. Let me check something. I can build. Wait, what's this? Those machines placed in the right will affect the entire zone. Make sure you place them in the well hidden uh, abandoned places as monsters and NAR soldiers will try to destroy every day. Alright. Because what I get lost is that each day has a different time zone and each day has different items that you can collect into. So it's the same five, six areas. It's just that um, I just don't know whether how to get to the end, you know. And that's what I'm going to be confused on. Because I don't want to just stop the series, y'all, and then forget about it, you know. I want to show y'all the ending at least. Oh, wait. Look at those guards. Now, what happens if I... Wait a minute. Oh, snap. Is that all you've got? My babushka slaps harder than you. Real tough guy, huh? But you couldn't pull the trigger back then. I'm not in the business of shooting women and children, you asshole. You sanctimonious prick. You came here with us. We were brothers. You were supposed to have my back no matter what. Sorry, Grisha. I'm not a killer anymore. What the hell are you talking about, Kirill? You were like a wild, bloodthirsty beast in Syria. You've killed our enemies by the dozen. That was different. You keep telling yourself that, but the truth is you pussied out and deserted us when we needed you. Like a coward. And you will die like a coward. Do what you must, Grisha. I don't care anymore. Right, I just want you to listen to that dialogue. Is he gonna kill him? Oh, dang. He killed him. Jeez. Well, you about to meet your makers too, y'all. Where's, where's my pistol at? I'm gonna save him. Hold up. I'm gonna actually loot their bodies. You okay? And we're good. Wait for it. See ya. Oh, wow. Fail. All right. That is perfectly fine, but you're about to die today, sir. Did you do that sniper or something? I gotta be accurate with this thing. Got him. Say goodbye, sir. Okay, let me take your stuff. Happily do that. Dang, I felt bad for that dude. He was nothing. He was just a capture. Now you're both dead. See ya. All right, let's see what's, what this thing is. And I'm probably going to head back to the uh, base, y'all. Yep. Okay. So it's saving. That's a good thing. All right, so let me head back to base real quick. See if there's another data we can access. All right, we're getting out of here. Let's go. And we are officially back, guys. So we completed the mission. Medicine drop. All right, so he's healthy and stable. Olivia, man, I, I, ain't, I ain't stable at all. I keep getting exposed by radiation and everything. So let me go ahead and increase. Select ration. Same as Igor. Alright, uh, yes, double food ration. Okay, so, same food, alright. Yes, I think that did something. And no, it did not. Killing wounds and starvation in stressful situations can lower your psyche. When it drops to zero, stress begins to dealing with physical damage. You can raise your psyche by consuming regular meals at the base as well as by using special items that you can create. Okay. Let me see what he got. Hello. Hey, you seem preoccupied. I've been thinking about the nuclear disasters in the West. They never got as much coverage in the press as Chernobyl. Not anything like it. Isn't that odd? I think the Americans just wanted to distract the world from what was going on in their own nuclear backyard. Interesting. Some might call it a conspiracy theory, but... Do you think Chernobylite has already been discovered someplace else? I really don't know. But if nuclear fusion is the key, then we should probably expect it to appear in other places. Hanford, Windscale, Boucher, Fukushima. There are about 450 operational nuclear reactors in the world right now. Yeah. Something to think about, eh? 
But let's focus on what's in front of us. One problem at a time, Professor. Right. Alright, so I have to get my game up to survive. Alright, so I'm definitely going to have to train you at this point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the video here. We can just continue the next. Can I pause it re real quick? Yes, I can. I can pause it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop it here. I guess in the next part we're going to have to train because I definitely need to, uh, you know, his relationship status is a little bit bad. So I need to hurry up and, uh, <laughs> I need to hurry up and get that right back up. Hopefully I can train and I can show him the equipment and stuff. But if y'all want the rest of the game, y'all want daily episodes each day, let me know. I don't know if you make these parts short, but I mean, I go into the different areas, get the things that I need and come back and build a base up. But I'm just, I got to do those high setups too as well. So I don't know. I'm going to have to figure that out as well. But um, love y'all. Just keep doing what you're doing. If y'all want the rest, let me know. Peace out.